Chris, I want to go back. We, we kind of skipped it. We kind of went over it a little quickly. The Drinkowitz stuff, holding up the, oh, five little one violations. I, like, we need to edit in a picture of that sign right here and talk about how he was running from us, running from playing against us in the Liberty Bowl. On credible sources, he was running from playing the Kansas Jayhawks in football. So I, get, I think something like that, uh, it's all bark, no bite, uh, which is typical for, for Mizzou. A uh, bunch of dorks, and uh, I think I think that they they uh, they don't have any room to speak. And we're going to show that the last two games are how this this rivalry is going to remain. And you know what? After the first year series of games uh, in the in the Kansas in the KU Mizzou rivalry in basketball that just got renewed, um, we started beating them so bad that they wanted to schedule us in football. And so I think we have a we, we have a schedule from 26 to 32 or something like that. I can't remember the exact date. So they're trying to get their get back. Um, and I think that with the coach drink stuff, uh, I think they forget that they actually were bowl ineligible for a little bit, weren't they? With their violations in the academic department, they had some. I don't remember 100. I don't remember 100, but I do remember. I, I remember the stories. And so, I mean, the same thing we've talked about with the Kansas State fans. They're throwing stones from a glass house. They sat here and actually got got a postseason ban, I think, in two sports and had a big national headline leading scandal that, you know what, they will just completely forget about that. But, you know, Kansas stuff that nothing really came from it except for a couple losses. I mean, it's Chris, just, I, it, want you to, I want you to think about this. Think about – Think about Coach Self or Coach Leipold going into the student section and holding up a sign talking about a school that you haven't played in for however long. Like, how immature is that? Like, you're a, like you, you are a high major coach at a high major university and you're going to be standing in the student section holding up signs about opposing teams? Like, the, that is the low of the low. Uh, I, I think of... It's corny. I think of how immature that that can be. And I think that our coaches would never do something that would never stoop that low. No, it's corny. And he has a history of being corny. I'm not trying to get on the football side of things because obviously this is a basketball game. But he's done a bunch of corny things over the years. I mean, he ha- he holds the sign. If you were to see one of our coaches do that, if Coach Self came and did that, he would have gotten crucified by national media. He was holding <laughs> – I stand on business. I was doing on business. He was holding it when we were beating him by 35. That's like that's like making a that's like scoring a touchdown in the last two minutes of a football game when you guys are down 50 and then having a team celebration in the end zone, like, let's go, yeah, yeah. You guys are getting your ass kicked. There should be no, oh, let's talk, let's talk our stuff now, because I made a good player, whatever, whatever you want to say. And then he's sitting there talking stuff on national media as well, saying, hey, he I think he tweeted a picture of him flying over Kansas. Uh, flying over Lawrence at one point or flying over um, uh, Memphis saying we aren't scared of anybody, we don't run from anybody, and then try to flip it on us. And then the bowl committee who ran the Liberty Bowl, didn't they have to come out and say that, hey, no, like Mizzou declined to play in this bowl game? Yeah, it's a shock. Imagine that, like you said, running with their tails between their legs. Running uh, with their tails. They, they their run legs. in the middle of the night, pillage and raid, and then uh, and then they run out scared once, uh, out scared. once they find somebody they're on the so their, I, I, I think that that's, that's I think that that's immature. Uh, I think that they this whole rivalry, even when we talked about when this rivalry came back, uh, we all know that there's people within within our side of it that, that thought that the, it coming back was not a good idea because they tucked tail and they ran. Why do we need to give them the revenue from playing against Kansas again? Uh, that's something that I think uh, isn't talked about enough. Uh, am I glad that we're playing against Mizzou and, and we're beating their ass every time we play against them? Yeah, I'm glad that we're doing that Love again. It. But at the same point in time, why do we even give them the light of day? Like those people, they, they ran off to the SEC. They took a great thing of, of the Mizzou-Kansas rivalry and, and they just pissed it down the drain. So I, I think that the fact that, that we just – I think it's okay that we, we welcome them back in, in, into playing, playing us in a home-at-home. Home, but also at the same point in time, I think that – I, I think that it's not said enough how scared they were when they left in 2012. And it, the, 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 the rivalry came back. And during the time the rivalry came back, I think their, their enrollment was down 8%. 
Um, their revenue from their sports teams had not been doing as well. They had had a tough time outside of their first two years in the SEC of really competing on the football side of things, which is their big cash grab. So I do think I, I think it was a cash grab. We try to keep the rivalry going after they left in 2012. And also, we were in the same conference for over 100 years. 1907 to 2012, Kansas and Missouri are a staple of being in the same conference together. And they picked up and left because they thought they were better than us. Now, every time I watch them get their asses kicked, it's by completely opposite teams. Like teams I don't think like, don't watch, don't care about. As long as they're beating the crap out of Mizzou, it, it warms my heart. And uh, it seems that that's happening more and more these days. Yeah, and I mean, hey, they've had a great year in football. I will not take that away from them. And I also don't want i don't want you guys to keep tweeting at me all week just for me to not reply to you guys because I don't care about you. And then us beat you guys by 30 and be like, oh, we would have kicked your butt in football, man. I mean, that's like just kind of how it goes. And I think Kansas State fans will love if I say this. If K-State played Mizzou right now and you were like, Chris, hey, here's two tickets to the game. This may be a little far, but I'm probably showing up in purple. You have to. Oh, if, if no, you there's, no choice, like, <laughs> there's no K-State brandy, but I'm showing up in a purple shirt. If you if you give me the choice, wear black and gold or or wear purple. I'm as much as much shit as I talk on K-State. There's absolutely no way in hell I'm wearing black and gold. Like that's that's not gonna happen. I wear a, I'd wear the uh, I'd wear the purple way before I wore anything Mizzou related.